Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. This is continuation of roadmap to become an ATL tester, right? So to become an ATL tester, we have discussed four points. So those four points are, the first point is knowledge on software testing fundamentals. And the second one is knowledge on SQL. Third one is ETL and data warehouse concepts. And the third one is basic Unix, Python, etc. Right? So if you haven't watched this particular video, I'll have the links in the description of the video so that you can refer. And in the recent video, we have discussed on software testing fundamentals. We have also discussed how to download the PDF and how to go through the concepts. Right? So the first point is being covered, the topics and the index has been covered for the first one. Now coming back to the second point that is knowledge on SQL. Today let's understand. So if you want to learn SQL, how to start with it. So those concepts, the index or the roadmap will be given in this particular session. So let's dive into today's session. Let's learn SQL. So the first point is start with the basic SQL. If you are, you know, in manual testing or you, if you are in API testing or any other different testing, and if you want to have knowledge of ETL testing, just start with the basic SQL. And to learn or practice the SQL, either you can do it online. There are other websites which can process your SQL query and give the results, or you can install any other databases like SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server database or Oracle. Any database you can install on your laptop and you can start practicing. And the second point is just start with the basic and learn till intermediate level. And once you get into a real time project, you will understand on job training. You can just pick it up and you can learn till advanced level. Right. And the next one is either if you want to install Microsoft SQL Server, so Microsoft is providing developer edition, which means it is not having any expiry period. So you can utilize it. Uh, it's kind of lifetime warranty, uh, lifetime validity. So you can just download and install Microsoft SQL Server developer edition so that you can practice the SQL queries. I have a full video on how to install SQL Server Developer Edition. So I'll just in a bit, I'll show all those videos uh, in a moment. And the next one is how to create database table, how to create table and all. So I will discuss these topics in detail in a, in a bit. So before moving to the notepad, I have a couple of things here. So I have uh, a SQL playlist. So which has some step-by-step -step videos. So these videos, if you want to explore, you can start with this. So I have started from what is SQL till the other concepts. And I'll continue the other topics in few days. So that is the join. I'll start with the joints concept and we'll learn the advanced intermediate level SQL and then advanced. Okay. So if you go to YouTube, search on search with SQL dot SQL with Ravi Martha and uh, you'll get these videos here. I have this SQL tutorial series for beginners and the other one is I have other SQL server interview questions here. You can see a lot of videos here and also I have given SQL server interview questions. So just I'll have the links in the description so that you can refer or if you want to uh, just check my videos, go to Google and search SQL with Ravi Martha. So this is the one and you'll get all those videos. So I'll, I'll also have the links in the description of my video. And if you're looking for anything specific, do comment in my on my video so that I, I'll pick it up in the next video, right? So let's straightly jump into the notepad and let's discuss how to start with SQL. Right, without wasting much time, let's start it. What is SQL? So SQL is a language. Basically, there are different languages like English, right? We used to speak each with each other. 
Similarly, to speak with database databases, relational databases, we have SQL. That is nothing but structure query language. And from where these, these databases would get the data. So basically, there will, there will be some front-end system where they will be entering the data. And that particular data will come and sit in the back-end databases. That is, that is, and we will retrieve that data using the SQL. Or we will interact with the database using SQL. How we store the data? That is nothing but we will uh, store it in a database as files. Right? So how to, if you want to start exploring, as we discussed, how we can explore it, we can just install one of the databases like Microsoft SQL Server, Developer Edition or Oracle and start practicing it, right? So after that, we should uh, just start with uh, these definitions like what is database, what is table, what is a view, what is store procedure, functions, etc. In database world, everything is an uh, object, database an object, Table is an object, view is an object, column is an object, or store procedure is an object, function is an object, right? And then comes the other topic, like how to create these objects. So we can create those objects using create statement. And if you want to alter the definition of those objects, we can use alter statement. If you want to insert data into a table, right, we can use insert statement. If you want to retrieve the data from the database, you can use select statement. If you want to update the data, use update. And if you want to remove the data from the database, you can use the delete statement. And we should be careful while using the update and delete statement. We should use the where class as well, else it will delete entire data or it will update the entire data, right? Then we have truncate and drop statements. We can start with exploring these things. And there are other subsets of uh, SQL, basically whatever we have discussed here have been segregated into these four components or subsets. The first one is DDL, Data Definition Language. So we have create, alter, drop and truncate. So basically this is to create or altering or removing those database, those objects from the database. Next one is DML select insert update delete and merge there may be other things but just i have listed the most common things right and dcl dml is nothing but data manipulation language dcl nothing but data control language so basically we can control the permissions given that is grant revoke deny etc and we have tcl transaction control language like begin transaction, commit transaction, rollback transaction, save point, something like that, right? Next, we have data types in SQL. So these data types will be slightly varying when you change a database. If you work in Microsoft SQL Server, so these are the Microsoft SQL Server uh, data types. The pretty much same similar data types will be there in other databases, but there may be slight changes right so this is int begin care var care in var care date date time etc so these are the key important data types there may be other uh, other types of data types in sql i have created separate videos as i have shown you i have created separate videos in my youtube channel you can just go and refer to this right next comes the constraint in sql so in order to have the data consistency we have certain uh, you know in order to avoid the junk data coming and sitting into the database tables there are certain constraints to ensure that data proper data is being inserted to the database so those constraints are primary key unique key not null default check and foreign key constraints right so in order to have a database a, a good data in database or consistent data in database we have certain properties for the database that is atomic consistent and isolation and durability so i'll try to make a separate video but these are the topics to start with sql right next comes the operators in sql so we have um, different types of operators in sql one is arithmetic 
so basically this will be used to perform mathematical operations like plus minus subtraction modulus and division then comes the comparison operators which is greater than equal to less than less than or equal to not equal to etc then comes the logical operators all and or any between exists in like not and sum then comes the set operators these are little important with respect to etl testing or you know validating the data sets right comparing the source and targets so that is nothing but except in sql server and if you are using other database like oracle it is minus intersect and union so these are the key things like <clears throat> set operators then comes the there are certain important clauses like group by having order by either you can order the data by ascending or descending and if you want to get uh, unique records you can use the distinct and the column list and if you want to get just uh, top five rows you can use top in microsoft sql server and then comes the important topic this carries this has more weightage when you learn sql at least 50 percent weightage would be there for this joins right so there are four types of joins inner join left outer join this is also called left join then comes the right join right outer join which is also called right join full outer join which is also called full join right so inner join means if there are two tables a and b this join would give the common elements from both the tables left outer join will have the, the left outer join nothing but inner join plus rest of the elements of the left join left table right right join means inner join plus rest of the elements from the right table full outer join means elements from both a and b right then comes the wild card so the wild cards are nothing but if you want to we have the data in table and there is a name column in the employee table and we want to search for example if you want to search rajendra right so i can say raj percentage which means it will search for employees whose name starts with raj and percentage this percentage represents any other character so these are called wild cards like percentage underscore there are uh, other types of wild cards i'll try to do a video on this as well right and there are certain other concepts like the subquery and then correlated subquery temporary tables local temp table and global temp table and there are table variables and then the common table expression and there are new topics which came recently that is system version table system version table from 2016 i think right so these are the important topics so if we start with this like understand what is sql and then how the sub what are the subsets of sql and then comes understand the data types and then understand the what are the constraints what are the database properties then comes the operators then the important clauses and then the joins which carries more weightage and the set operator also very important here then comes the wildcards which is also more useful than the other concepts so this is enough to go to intermediate to advanced level okay and i have all the videos available on my youtube channel for example if you go here you have the sql tutorial for beginners step by step and you have interview questions here sql interview questions here there are long list of videos i have made for example logical processing a select statement when you have select statement how what are the you know what is the execution order of execution of those select statements and then primary key unique key differences sorting interview questions and difference between truncate delete and how to delete duplicates case statement and other functions like running total temporary tables which we discussed table variable how to import data from different file to database 
so there are other videos uh, in my youtube channel and if you like it just search sql with ravi martha and explore the videos and if you like it please like my videos and do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends who want to learn etl testing if you have any queries please comment on my video or drop me an email to my email id and thanks for your time uh, have a great day thanks for watching